Shocking news. Ripple XRP has failed case against SEC. Is it possible to relist XRP on Coinbase? What will such an event lead to? We will answer these questions in today's video. The current price of XRP for today is 0. 35 US dollars, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1360000000 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 30% in the last 24 hours. Welcome to the Rich Club channel. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, has not been definitive over the past few days. Last week, the RSI held a neutral value of 50 as support, but recently this level has not passed. Thus, there may be some volatile dynamics during the weekend. Similarly, the Awesome Oscillator, AO, was also below zero. He has not yet shown a strong bearish impulse. The A-D line had a resistance zone that was directly overhead and was indicated by two dotted white lines. If A-D can overcome this region, it will be a sign of sustained demand for the XRP rally. The Directional Movement Index, DMI, showed the absence of a strong trend. ADX, yellow, it was at level 20, ADI just above the 20 mark. Technically, this indicated a bearish trend, but in general meant the absence of a significant trend over the past few days. The $0. 35 dash dollar zero. 36 range will be important to protect the bulls over the next day or two. The formation of a lower low below this area will signal bearish strength. Momentum indicators were inconclusive on the lower time frames. Bitcoin could also strongly influence the direction of XRP in the near future. The litigation between the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, and Ripple entered the phase of summary proceedings when the parties began to file petitions for a summary judgment. According to lawyer James K. Fillin, yesterday the parties filed petitions for a summary judgment. All documents are filed classified, because the judge has not yet decided to what extent they can be disclosed to the public. Ripple and individual defendants, Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse, filed not only petitions for summary judgment, but also filed a legal memorandum in support of the summary judgment. According to Phelan, Ripple also filed an application under Rule 56. 1. 106 proofs and a declaration of a statement made by Michael K. Kellogg, a famous American writer. The Ripple defendants filed with the seal of the seal a motion for summary judgment, a legal memorandum in support of the motion for summary judgment, a statement under Rule 56. 1. A declaration by Michael K. Kellogg and 106 exhibits. Similarly, the Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a motion for summary judgment against Ripple and individual defendants, also classified. The Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a sealed copy of the statement attributed to Daphne A. Waxman, Senior Legal Representative of the Cyber Division of the Securities and Exchange Commission's Enforcement Division. In addition, the SEC sealed about 400 exhibits, according to the calculations of Lawyer Fillon. Attorney Phelan stated that the Securities and Exchange Commission also filed a memorandum of law supporting summary judgment and a Rule 56. One statement, along with statements by Jorge G. Tenrero and Leighton Neff. Stewart. Since then, the SEC has filed its memorandum in support of its motion for summary judgment, statements by Jorge G. Tenrero and Leighton Neff. Stewart, a statement on Rule 56. One, as well as hundreds of additional documents. Screenshots of the documents are below. It is noteworthy that all these petitions were filed yesterday under seal, classified, until the parties meet and confer to determine the necessary corrections that will be made. It is expected that in accordance with the recently approved briefing schedule on all sealing issues related to the summary trial, the parties will meet tomorrow to determine the necessary corrections to the latest submitted briefings. After the parties make corrections, the edited versions of the summary for summary proceedings will be available to the public on September 19, 2022. On Monday, September 19, 2022, the parties will submit publicly available edited versions of summaries in support of petitions for a summary judgment, making only those preliminary corrections requested by the parties, lawyer Phelan said. Meanwhile, attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan & Hogan, recently noted that he is looking forward to September 19, 2022. He said that this date will be notable as XRP holders will see several hidden details of the trial. The parties jointly proposed to regulate the issues of secrecy related to the upcoming petitions for a simplified trial. After a series of disputes that arose during the filing of petitions for the rejection of expert opinions, both Ripple and the SEC filed a joint proposal that will regulate all secrecy issues related to upcoming motions for summary trial. The parties have submitted a joint proposal to resolve the sealing issues related to the upcoming motions for summary trial that will be filed in this case. 
On behalf of the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple, we respectfully ask the court to approve the following joint proposal to resolve the secrecy issues related to the upcoming motions for summary judgment the court decisions that will be filed in this case, the parties said. According to the petition, the proposal will provide quick public access to the records of the parties in accordance with the presumption that the public should have free access to court records. In a simplified manner, the parties intend to make editorial changes minimal. In accordance with the proposal, after submitting under seal the necessary materials for a simplified trial on September 13, 2022, the parties propose to hold a meeting in two days to identify the revisions required by each party. As soon as this is done, the parties will publicly submit edited petitions for a summary judgment on September 19, 2022. This proposal to publish a limited redacted motion for summary judgment caused excitement among the Ripple community, especially attorney Jeremy Hogan, a partner at the law firm Hogan Hogan. Lawyer Hogan urged Ripple enthusiasts to mark September 19, 2022 as the date when the parties will reveal most of their cards. Circle September 19 as the day we get to see most of the cards the parties are holding. Ripple v. SEC. The end game. It's getting me excited. I'm weird like that. In addition, the parties will file sealed objections to the motions for summary trial on October 18, 2022, and on October 20, 2022, they will meet to determine possible corrections before publicly presenting the edited versions four days later. The parties propose to submit sealed summaries of responses to the summary judgment on November 15, 2022. In addition, both the SEC and Ripple will meet to determine the corrections requested by each party on November 17, 2022, as well as publish edited summaries of responses in November. 21, 2022. The parties also propose to file a lengthy petition for the closure of all materials related to the summary judgment, as well as the proposed revisions, on December 9, 2022. On December 22, 2022, the parties will file objections to the omnibus sealing petitions. Experienced software developer David Schwartz, Chief Technology Officer, CTO, of Ripple, points out the advantages of the XRP Ledger compared to its main competitors. Supporters of XRP Ledger, XRPL, shared a video from Apex Developer Summit 2022, a large-scale conference for XRPL developers, where Ripple CTO and one of the creators of XRP Ledger David Schwartz reveals the recipe for the secret sauce of XRPL popularity. Speed, commissions, scalability, what else? David Schwartz on the benefits of XRPL. In his speech, Schwartz stressed that the introduction of the XRP Ledger is expected in 2022. He mentioned the speed of work, attractive commission policy and amazing scalability as the main advantages of XRPL. David Schwartz himself, there is no comparison with XRP and XRP Ledger? XRP Ledger is also well known for the eco-friendliness of its validator structure. In addition, XRPL is one of the oldest working blockchains, it has a proven track record since 2012. XRP Ledger is the first blockchain in the history with built-in DX, Schwartz stressed. It has a multifunctional ecosystem of tools for tokenization and liquidity management. Technical Director Schwartz, who is also one of the first participants in the technical design of XRP Ledger, added that all these advantages give the advantages of XRP Ledger over other blockchains. Is the XRP Ledger getting closer to major updates? Soon it will be possible to implement new software functions on the XRP Ledger. It is expected that the XLS20 amendment will be activated next week which will make it possible to freely support and transfer non-interchangeable tokens, NFT. In addition, an amendment is in the works regarding AMM, an automated market maker, which is a basic function for decentralized finance, DeFi. What do you think are the prospects for XRP in 2023? Write your forecasts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the release of new videos and do not forget about our contest, write in the XRP comments to add 500 XRP to your account.